there. Back to Bookley. And Steffi moves in front again. Mademoiselle Graf mène 4 jeux à 3. So it's 4-3, Graf first set. New balls, 3-4. The ranchers you saw there with 80% first serves in. But of course, nowhere near the dominance yes, that yes. Steffi has on first serve, although not so much today, David. No, it's funny, uh, Arantxa coming up with her first double fault there, that Arantxa has returned the first serve far better than the second, where she's had to make her own pace a bit more. She's made more unforced errors. beginning to erase the unforced error count and these are troubles times now for Arantxa Sanchez Vicario Steffi right into this and could take a stranglehold on this set Puts this point together so well, Arantxa. Graf showing commendable patience, but dropped, sat a little short, and she didn't think that ball was coming over the net. She really reacted very slowly to it. Arantxa really cutting underneath the ball. from the Spaniard, but it's not good enough. The power is beginning to tell here. Two break points. 15-40. At the moment, she can't keep Steffi off. Two points for She doesn't like it, but she's going to have to take it. <laughs> Just confirmation from Patrick Varel. And now things really looking in bad shape. From 1 3, Steffi's won four games in a row and serves now for the set. for the German. It's not just the power now of Graf, it's the consistency of Graf. Scrambles this one back, what does it do? It cleans the line at the far end. Comes in and plays the winning shot, what does it do? It cleans the line at the far end. And there's not much that Arantxa can do about this at the moment. This kind of form from Steffi took some time to emerge this afternoon. She's got to hope it subsides. That's her only chance. Yes, I mean, Graf, as she has been in the last four and a half games, has been invincible. Uh, she beat anybody. And she's now two points from taking this first set. Oh. 
as you can see, the uh, doubt just re-emerging momentarily there. here on the backhand. Signs of tension perhaps. percentage shot surely the difference between the two I feel in a situation like this a rancher thrives on the big points Steffi feels threatened by them wants to get through them too quickly break back point yes a terrific game from Sanchez Vicario but Steffi on the point of taking the first set, really stopped at the brink and didn't like what she saw. And it's 4-5. It's raining here at Roland Garros. Only light. It's very dark. Don't be uh, confused by the uh, brightness that you're seeing in your picture. The engineers are doing a wonderful job here, but it's very dark. It's not raining hard, and we just cross our fingers. We may get away with this. It's only a passing shower. Sanchez Vicario serving to stay in the set. 4-5. play from the Spaniard just hesitated there for a moment about coming forward but committed herself and gets a very easy put away and a is very good at the net she's the world's number one ranked doubles player as well as singles close to that for once her footwork let her down as Gilbert Izen with the glasses looking up at the weather no move him to stop play at the moment I think he knows it's only a transient moment at least he'll be hoping that way the forecast was for one or two very light showers rally of the match a rancher looking for a call looking for a mark but I think 
It's right then. It's 15:30. Actuellement, Mademoiselle Grafman, 5 jeux à 4 au service. Mademoiselle Sanchez Vicario, 15 au 30. Steffi is two points away from taking this first set. S'il vous plaît. Leave it now. Did a string go? Steffi's getting her racket changed. No, the grip. Maybe the hand slipped on the grip. What I don't understand, Simon, is why on earth didn't she let the ball bounce? I mean, it was so high. This one is uh, higher than the Eiffel Tower, the lob. Let it bounce. It's going to come up to a nice height. And it would have given her two set points. Scarcely credible. 30 all. Certainly seems to be hitting the ball as well as ever. Apart from that one aberration. If she doesn't take this set, that may be a shot that will stay with her for some time. But here is set point. summed up in one point. Tremendous aggression in the crisis. Stretched graph one way and then leaves her totally flat-footed the other. A rancher, as always, coming on strong when it matters most. It's a rancher who's got a chance to level up at five each. That's right, it was always going to bounce high enough. And look at this, perfection on the drop volley. Because the rancher knew it was coming, she was moving for it, here she comes, it's got to be good, and it is. So it's back to Deuce. <laughs> what a rancher. What clutches a racket there. It's only an inch off the line. It's long. A really excellent game from the Spaniard. 
Thanks, Rick. Thank you. Started now really high. So the rain delay has done them both good. developing into the match we hoped it would be Steffi's always vulnerable because she's always tending to stay over the backhand side and if you can play your own backhand down the line you'll find a vacant space Rancher looks down but no complaint off again about the third or fourth time she's literally cleaned the line <laughs> yes she enjoyed that Steffi whipping herself up now into uh, just about peak form after the disappointment of the last game And Steffi goes into a 6-5 lead. Just one full shot after so many good ones. Steffi does go for the topspin backhand rather more on the passing shots. And it was just too good, too hot to handle so far as Arantia was concerned. But what a key game that was for Graf. She'd come within two points of the set at 5-3, come to set point at 5-4. Arantia was, as she always is, snapping at her heels like a little terrier, like Arantia's dog, a little terrier. And Graf had seen those chances whittled away and you would have thought that she would have been on a psychological low, a rancher on a high, but Graf came out and played as well as she did in that streak of four games when she came from 1-3 to 5-3. But isn't it lovely to have them both playing well at the same time? It's great to see a, a totally absorbing match played at a, a very high standard. It's, there have been a few times where we've been able to say that this week. So Sanchez Vicario serving to take us into a tie break. Steph is in that groove on the backhand now. Very few errors.
And of course, what makes this better for Graf is that she knows she's got away with murder. That was an awful shot, the drop shot. Arrange has so much time, and Steffi, like a goalkeeper of facing a penalty in the shootout of a European Cup final, guesses right. A magical moment. And she's two points away from the set after this amazing get here. Just there. Just about a perfect rally. <laughs> I mean, Arantxa has done everything in that rally. She's run down everything. And still Graf is too good for her. With the slice backhand right onto the baseline. Two more set points. say that I don't think any player in the world perhaps not even Monica Sellers at her best would have lived with Steffi in that kind of form one bad error when she could have got the set point earlier on but after that didn't she play well so the first set in 49 minutes